How you guys doing, Eric here? Today is April 20th, 2015. 420. We're talking about marijuana today. Cannabis. Mary Jane. Mota. I know, I'm sure there's a bunch of other names I can't think of right now, but... Yeah. The big story here in Colorado... Over the weekend was the Cannabis Cup down in Denver. The, the big story at the Cannabis Cup was no free samples this year. I guess last year you could go around to all the different booths and get free samples of buds and products and wax and dabs and hash. It was like a pot smoke is paradise. But not this year. The, the man put the kibosh on it. So that kind of sucks. But yeah. 420. And here I am on probation. No 420 for me this year. Oh man, it's brutal, man. You know, I think if you're on probation, you should at least get 420 should be a legal day anybody can smoke you know they should change the law 420 if even if you're on probation they'll give you an exception you're allowed to be dirty for one month after 420 no but one interesting thing is I heard here in Colorado they're trying to make a law where even if you're on probation now you can still get medical cannabis so you can, if you have a medical card you'll be allowed to smoke if you're here and we'll see I'm sure I, ha I have a feeling it'll pass but too late for me so you know not for you farmer you're grandfathered in no you can't smoke for till February but anyways yeah well, now with all, I'm not, it's interesting, you know, but I wonder over the weekend if they had any DUI checkpoints down around Denver, and that's the next thing I could see coming around 420, is it because it grows in popularity. They'll be starting, just like all the other holidays, they'll be having DUI checkpoints because they got to keep us safe. They got to keep the people safe from the evil pot smokers yeah the same thing man you get you get a DUI for cannabis it's the same thing as a DUI for alcohol which I think is real shitty man because it's just it's just crap man it's it's just a way to get people in trouble for nothing even if you're not high they'll still nail you Yeah, it was all over the news this weekend, man. They were freaking corporate media hyping it up. 420 every year, talking about marijuana DUIs, what a problem it is. And how, I think they said, like, here in Colorado is like around 15% or something like that of all DUIs cannabis related they don't they don't use the word cannabis on the news they call it pot or marijuana which are fake terms you know they, they like to say the country's gone to pot it's just a shame the country's gone to pot because they're all fucking they're all they all everybody in the corporate media and the government and the system and the freaking they're all in the pocket of big pharma so they demonize marijuana along with tobacco and alcohol any other form of freaking drug out there demonizes marijuana cannabis it's a freaking conspiracy no doubt about it man i got a, i got a video called the cannabis conspiracy you know it's the safest substance of them all. The most beneficial. 
cures cancer, you know, does all these things that are good for people, but all they ever talk about is the evil side of it. Sure, I mean, it's not all great. It's got its bad drawbacks. Nothing's perfect, but, man, I think it's a lot more perfect than anything else out there, you know. You know the drugs that'll kill you are just fine. Alcohol will kill you. Tobacco will kill you. Oh, but marijuana is a gateway drug. They hate they hate drugs like marijuana. They hate drugs like psilocybin mushrooms because they make you think outside the box. For one. For two, they, they you know they help actually cure cancer. You know, they, they say, oh, it's bad for your brain, it kills brain, you know? That's bullshit, man. That, that's always been a lie the whole way. Ever since, they, you know, they, they put a mask on a monkey, freaking asphyxiated him with marijuana sm with smoke, and that's how they, they uh, determined that marijuana kills brain cells. It's not true. The truth is, it's actually good for the brain. You know, if, if marijuana killed brain cells, I'd be dead. And a lot of other people I know would be dead, too. But no, these are some of the most productive people I know, most intelligent, productive people I know, use cannabis every day. You know, you get in a little bit of trouble, and the first thing they want to do is say, no, you can't use any marijuana if you're on probation. You know, it's fucking evil. So yeah, you know, marijuana has become a big fucking racket here in Colorado, man. You got to make money off it one way or another. If they're not selling enough with taxes. Oh, if they're not selling enough, making the tax money, they're going to get you with friggin' DUIs. You know, another, uh, tickets for like smoking in public or but anyways it's something I don't have to worry about right this year since I'm not allowed I'm, I've been naughty so I got mad and yelled at somebody one night and he got scared and called the police on me so I can't smoke marijuana or drink or do anything so I don't know it's I'm not getting the benefits of it, but it's got its it's got its plus sides. Being being sober, being off any, all drugs and all alcohol, save a lot of money, spend money on other things. I guess. Speaking of money, I just got a new job. I started on Wednesday, so I'm kind of happy about that. Been. Only been looking for work for a week, so pretty good at finding a job. Pretty good at bullshitting my way in. It'll be a lot easier now without having to doing any alcohol or drugs. I can tell them that yeah, I'm a sober guy. <laughs> it's weird, man. Even if I have to take a drug test, I can pass it. I'm not used to that. I'm used to like worrying about taking drug tests. And how am I gonna pass it? You know, it's it's one of the things I hate about weed is it stays in your system for so long, man. That's what that's what the system likes about it, man. It's like you can't fucking hide it from them. They keep coming out with better and better tests to detect it, no matter how hard you try to hide. And if you and they could tell if you're like trying to hide it. And they'll tell if you've taken certain substances to block it. And they don't, they, you know, they'll, they'll fail you for that. Or drinking too much water. That's what I've been getting in trouble for. And I'm not even trying to dilute my piss. But it seems like every third fucking U UA I take comes out diluted. And like. I don't know what it is that they're testing now. They never used to happen back when I was testing before. But now it's like... 
I could see if I was trying to, if I had something to hide or something, but I'm not. And I keep coming out with diluted UAs, you know, it's like, now I just got to call first thing in the morning and see if I got a test that day. I go straight there without drinking no coffee or nothing. Hopefully I won't get another dilute, because, you know, I just want to get through this fucking probation. You know, I got, I got till February to go. The time's going by, you know, there's a, the, the long, more time that goes by, it seems like the faster it's going, so that's kind of good. But it, it still seems like a fucking eternity. I got seven anger management classes down. They told me 12 to 20 classes, you know. It's time for me to start seeing how many they're going to make me do. I, I just got this strange feeling it's going to be, they're, they're going to say I need the whole 20. Because I still got issues I got to deal with. That fucking ag angers me. <laughs> I got to go to 13 more anger management classes and that angers me. I say, you know, I'd be a much happier person if I could just not come here anymore. And if I could smoke weed, I'd be real happy. But no. It's funny, when you go in, when you start probation, they make you fill out all this fucking paperwork, like a, like a freaking phone book's worth of paperwork, and you gotta tell them your whole life story. You gotta tell them all everything, even about your family, they want the names of your brothers and sisters, they want their numbers, phone numbers, addresses, if, what your relationship is with them, and what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, they make you, uh, you have to, there, there's this one question that says, or this one thing you have to sign, it says, I understand that marijuana in any form is not permitted while on probation. And not only do you have to sign it, initial it, date it, you have to write it down too. You have to read it, write it down exactly what it says, sign it, initial it, and date it. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> you know, they want to say, oh, there's no way you could say you didn't understand that you're not allowed to use marijuana in any form. Not raw, not no edibles. No hash, no, no wax, no form of marijuana whatsoever. It, it, we reiterate, I repeat. <laughs> it's like, it's like if, when you go on, on the computer and you, you have to agree to something, you know, like, like on the Apple store, you have to agree or, and then it says, I agree and you check that box and then, Another box pops up. I'm confirming that you agree to agree. It's kind of like that. Redundancy. <sighs> Fucking system's insane, man. Anyways. Happy 420, everybody. To my... I know I got at least a couple subscribers out there. They're... Pat Smokers. Enjoy. Even though I'm not enjoying it this year. I'll be back next year, hopefully, if I can get through this fucking probation. There's no guarantees because, like a lot of people say, they set you up to fail. But I don't see myself failing now, man. I've gone through over a few hurdles already, and I don't think nothing can stop me now. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.